Hello everybody, I'm Krasi and we will talk about you, Jupiter because now in April, just a few days ago, Jupiter became retrograde in Scorpio, became retrograde just in the very last degrees of Scorpio, I think in the 29th degree of Scorpio and will be retrograde until, until approximately 5th of August. We know that Jupiter travels around the sun for approximately 12 months, one year, stays stationary, which means immovable from our perspective for approximately five to seven days, and then becomes retrograde for nearly four months. And this is happening every year. Jupiter has also the phase of invisibility. And this is a very particular and very interesting phase, which will happen around end of this autumn. And we will talk about this separately because this is really, really very important. Now, Jupiter in the ancient Mesopotamian, Babylonian um, mythology, astronomy, astrology was ruled by God Marduk, divinity of Marduk, who is called um, the king of the gods, Lugal Dingir Dingir, which means the king of the gods. And Jupiter is, um, of course, Marduk is, is, of course, a benefic divinity, really very beneficial from the human um, humanity because he saved us from the um, chaos, from Tiamat. Now, he is... God, which is about very much about wisdom, of course, very benefic. He is the one who has uh, authority over our de over our destinies, and this is very very important. He is also father, interestingly, of Mercury of Nabu. Now, let's not forget he is always good. Whatever you read, let's not forget that this is benefic planet, benefic divinity who saved us from Tiamat, from the chaos, from the dragon who wanted to destroy humanity according to the mythology. And we know that most mainly, the, really the, the real truths um, can be reviewed and found mainly in the mythological texts. Jupiter, it became retrograde. What does it mean? This cannot harm us for certain, but he will be retrograde, interestingly, in, let's uh, look at the chart of Jupiter, in the section of the zodiac, the last degrees of Scorpio, which are ruled by Saturn. And this is very interesting because on the, 60, on the 14th of June, he is changing don't forget this date is quite important because then you will experience some change and I will tell you on what level we may expect changes to occur. So until this time, timing, Jupiter will be retrograding, moving backwards from our perspective, otherwise he's not moving backwards. So uh, in section of the zodiac ruled by Saturn. So let's see what it would mean when Jupiter is uh, retrograde. So first of all, let's not forget that Jupiter is kind of social planets, planet. It's uh, like Saturn, we experience the changes occurring with the transiting Jupiter on a very social level, on a mundane level, like all humanity will experience some kind of change. So, uh, his actions will will affect many people and not for bad, but just that this may lead to us questioning our ethics, our spiritual beliefs, our philosophical and religious systems. So you will see along with this, a lot of researches and truths coming out. This happened right now a lot while and you can see this on my other video when I was discussing Jupiter in the sting of the Scorpio. So we, we saw a lot of truth and true um, morals and true uh, truth coming out. And this happened um, on local level in many countries, but in the, in the uh, rule, by the rulers and the governmental level of many countries. But what will happen now it will, you will see it in a bit different way. So, could be that we 
reevaluate our ethics, reevaluate our belief systems. And all this will be happening while Jupiter will, will be traveling in this, this particular Saturn in, um, section of the zodiac. Now, Saturn is not this particular degrees, the last five degrees of Scorpio ruled by Saturn are very pragmatic, very limiting. They are very much about secrets. They are very much about, um, they're very much about um, limiting also this very, very joyful uh, nature of Jupiter. And this will make him a little bit more structured, more pragmatic. So this is going to happen of our belief systems, moral values, ethics, all the way through, let me see again the date, 14th of June, while well, Jupiter will be there. Later on, Jupiter after this date is going to enter the section uh, of Jupiter and still he will be retrograde. But this is a bit more, a bit lighter. It will not be that pragmatic. It will not be that limiting. It may review a little bit the joyful nature of Jupiter, but still questioning values, questioning ethics, questioning philosophical studies, secrets, because all this is going to happen in Scorpio. Um, and of course, when, when Jupiter enters the, 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 the term of Jupiter, which is um, happening 14th, uh, June, he will make conjunction with Sabic. It's a very interesting star in Scorpio, which is star which is projected from the constellation of Ophysius, Asclepius, which is a star that has the nature of conjunction of Saturn and um, Venus or Mercury, just once. Yes, excuse me, it has the nature of the conjunction of Saturn and Venus. And this particular conjunction uh, gives nature of esoteric, very occultistic star in Scorpio. So when Venus enters his Jupiterian section during his retrograde movement, will also experience this desire to go deeper and deeper and reanalyze and um, rethink and restudy and recheck esoterics, occultistics, um, secret knowledges and sciences and desire to go deeper and deeper in, into all those hidden um, sciences. Of course, all the time this retrograde movement is happening in Scorpio and we will be re-questioning. We, we will desire to rewrite, to recheck everything that we know, that we knew. We will be seeking uh, maybe deeper meanings of everything. It's like we will be seeking deeper and deeper into what we know. So this is actually very beautiful because this is um, a needed step for our growth, spiritual growth growth in terms of knowledge, uh, in terms of awakening, enlightenment. So this is actually a very beautiful um, st stage of Jupiter, Jupiter's transit, his retrograde movement in Scorpio. In terms of money, in terms of finances, I don't think that this will be very beneficial. Well, right now, until... Um, 10th of May, Jupiter will be helpful a bit to a degree and will be supporting Venus. So this will be a little bit, again, to a degree because Saturn is not really very supportive, but to a degree, this will help resolve some financial issues, but not really completely because Jupiter will have other job to review, rewrite truths, rewrite belief systems, rewrite... Um, philosophical systems, our religious beliefs, do we really need to be into religious limited, limited mindset or really go to higher state, stage of awareness? All this is up to 
the placement of Scorpio and Jupiter in our own horoscopes. So the, how Jupiter in particular will influence each one of us very much depends on the own nat um, natal charts, horoscopes of each one of us, of course. In any case, people who do have uh, retrograde Jupiter in their natal charts tend to seek always the truth, the real meanings, the real philosoph philosophies behind belief systems. And this is all beautiful. But now this is going to happen on global, on holistic level to, to all of us. But once again, look how Jupiter is placed in your natal chart. Look where Scorpio and which house Scorpio is ruling and the ruler of Scorpio, Mars and Pluto, how they are placed in your natal chart to see exactly how you will go through this. Very interesting, a little bit complex, but for sure not bad experience while Jupiter will be retrograde until 5th, 6th of August. After that, he will turn direct again, and then we will reanalyze this, of course, this second stage of his movement. In any case, he's staying in Scorpio until November 2019. So thank you. If you have any questions uh, and comments, feel free to comment. Thank you.